Tanzania. Your Excellency Yoon suk -yeol, President of the Republic of Korea, my fellow heads of state and government, I wish to commend and appreciate the Republic of Korea for hosting this year's summit. The year 2024 is a big year for democracy. Democracies, large and small, are set to hold national and local elections. In Tanzania, since the restoration of multi-party democracy in 1992, we are now set to hold the seventh round of local government election this year, followed by the national election next year, 2025. We endeavor to further consolidate our democracy trajectory by marking 30 years of an uninterrupted multi-party democracy. As such, I'm delighted to once again join you in this important summit, which avails us with another opportunity to review and reiterate our pledges on strengthening democracy, promoting respect for human rights, and upholding good governance in our respective countries. Your Excellencies, it goes without saying, but still bears repeating, that the investment that we make in democracy today is critical for future generations. Since 2021, we in Tanzania have deliberated in and made pledges that have not only propelled us to strengthen our democracies, but also pushed us to consolidate policies, institutional and regulatory reforms in order to improve and meet the aspiration of our people, especially the youth. Since the last summit for democracy and in our quest to strengthen democracy, Tanzania has recorded a number of milestones. We have dwelt in building on the principles of what we refer to as four R's, namely reconciliation, resilience, reforms, and rebuilding to further open up the civic and political space and force inclusive democratic participation. The summit we recall that last year, Tanzania reported of the establishment of an independent task force to review and advise on necessary reforms in the entire political ecosystems in the country. I'm pleased to inform that the challenges raised by political stakeholders were addressed and opened a new chapter in our democratic journey. I'm also happy to notify that political parties have continued to enjoy the rights of assembly, including holding rallies across the country. Tanzanian government has also given high priority to the promotion of freedom of speech, including creating a more conducive environment for journalists and media houses to conduct their duties. Your Excellencies, the United Republic of Tanzania reaffirms the commitment to support democracy, human rights, and good governance at home and abroad. I thank you very much for your attention.